Hello everyone. Today we're going to take a look at the main body controller in the Model 3 known as VC Front, uh, Vehicle Controller Front. You can see the 12 volt AGM battery and the silver and black box here is VC Front. This is where the 12 volt battery goes in, directly connects to this and this distributes 12 volt power to the other two body controllers. There are no fuses, not even directly on the 12 volt battery. It's all done by solid state MOSFETs inside VC front. Okay, so now we'll go to the bench. Okay, and now we have a VC front uh, as removed from the car. It's got this uh, really beefy cover on it with a honeycomb. I assume this is uh, for uh, crash resistance so that in the event this thing gets smushed uh, it'll pr keep providing 12 volt power to the car because obviously things like uh, the restraint control module, the airbags um, need to have power. They also want uh, the autopilot ECU maybe to record the you know uh, data from the crash, things like that. Okay, so under here <clears throat> we have uh, the main ground, battery ground, uh, connection for the power assisted steering rack. There are two connections for redundancy. Um, we have battery positive that comes in. Uh, this goes to the PCS, which is the output from the DC to DC converter, and also, uh, um, yeah, uh, and also we have uh, VC right power feed here and VC left power feed here that goes out and then some connections for the front harnesses so uh, let's dive into this sucker Now we have a really big uh, ST uh, power architecture there, controlling everything, really high pin count. Let's see, let's uh, take some measurements here. This board is about uh, 24 centimeters by 19 and a half. So um, we have some more of these uh, push-in pens as seen uh, on the other controllers. All these gold things are current shunts. These are uh, basically calibrated resistors used to measure uh, the current of the load. As uh, current passes through here, there's a slight voltage drop that's calibrated and the onboard, uh, there's probably an onboard analog to digital converter that reads that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very high density, but uh, very clean. They're using a lot of discrete uh, FETs here. And uh, the, this here is via stitching. I'm sure that uh, is connected probably by some thermally uh, conductive compound to the back of this housing, which is a giant heat sink, just to dissipate any heat buildup that may occur. I'll have to uh, list the bill of materials of the major components and the uh, description when I get done with this. Yeah, it's actually not as interesting as uh, VC left was. Um, it's just a whole lot of big fets. Um, when I say big, they actually are physically really small. These are basically die scale packages. There's really not much in the way of encapsulant. This is basically a uh, a MOSFET die is as small as you can get without 
uh, and still have it handleable by automatic pick and place. If anyone has any questions, please ask them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. Um, also interesting is we see these little uh, soldered on little bus bar sections to increase current handling of the board. Yes, that's delivering uh, positive to these different sections of the board. That's an interesting way of handling it because uh, this can also be uh, put on the board with automatic pick and place. It doesn't require any hand work. The only thing uh, and it, it could be robotic, are these, uh, these interesting posts which are pressed in. They're not soldered, they're literally just pressed into the board. I guess uh, we can uh, look at the bottom of the board too. I suspect it's a single-sided load though. They're not going to be anything on the bottom. Oop, that one's tight. For those that are interested, these uh, really cool gyroscopically sent screwdrivers are really neat. I'll uh, put it in the comments. Yep, uh, nothing on the bottom to see really. You can see all this uh, thermally conductive uh, goo here. It's rubbery. All right, well. Well, it's probably the uh, most integrated and uh, least interesting of all the controllers so far. Um, more analysis would have to result in some tracing, but it looks like, uh, you know, except from a few uh, little pieces here, uh, like we saw in the other controller where they're using uh, ASICs that uh, are designed for this purpose, Tesla's kind of just implemented all this stuff discreetly. I, I think it's an awesome design though. Uh, this completely replaces the fuse box and power distribution in the front of the car. It's, it's very elegant. And that's our uh, quick look at VC Front. Hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, like and subscribe to my channel. More videos coming.